It's finally Dr. Ratio's turn, and for this team comp, I am trying something different. This is pretty much as unrelatable as you can get with a build, but we are going for a zero cycle where Sparkle acts three times per cycle, per wave, and Tingyan is also the same. Now, the only reason this is possible is because of Ranmei's speed boost and the S5 dance, dance, dance on Tingyan. So, if you were to try to do this without the amount of speed subs that I've built into my relics, then the solution would be to have Dance 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 on both Tingyun and on Sparkle. You do that, and then the speed threshold that you need to hit becomes much, much less. So, for Dr. Ratio's build, he has... First, I'm, I want to talk about the effect hit rate, because the 20% effect hit rate kind of makes it so... Our follow-ups are not as consistent as we would like because we can't trigger his effect res down. And because this team doesn't have a debuffer, we're pretty much relying on either the speed boost from his technique, the debuff from the flower thing that Ron May gives, and then if we get lucky, then we get the effect res down. But if we don't get the effect res down, then we kind of have to be preying on 60 and 80% uh, follow-ups. But in my opinion, the amount of damage this team can output allows you to actually miss a couple of follow-ups and not have a problem. Now, his 68% crit rate does go into 78 due to Sparkle's Light Cone, and then 93 once he gains his 5 stacks. But he will be gaining it slower because we obviously don't have a debuffer. So yeah, as you can see, Sparkle is 178 speed, which is actually 4 more speed than you need. Uh, because you need about 184 with a S5 dance, dance, dance to get Sparkle to move three times in one cycle. And Tingyun is the same. Uh, 174 does turn into 184 thanks to Ron May, and she doesn't actually need to be that fast. I do believe 160-ish is what you need to have her be boosted up with Ron May and then the dance, dance, dance. Now Ron May is on a break effect, that's why she has 250 break effect because we're not going to be triggering her ult uh, twice. And we are actually going to use it twice, but that's only because of the meme giving us energy. But yeah, so let's get into the run versus MOC 12, the second side, and let's see how it goes. Starting off with a statue from Dr. Ratio and those beautiful masks from Sparkle. Right off the bat, Dance, Dance, Dance is going to push everybody forward. And this is the first out of three Sparkle pushes that we're going to get. I did want to check to see if any of them didn't have the speed buff. I would have used the ult on the one that didn't have the speed buff. So 60%. We got lucky with the 60%. Now, if we actually attacked the other guy, we would have put one extra debuff on him, but because this team doesn't have ults that actually deal damage, uh, triggering the follow-ups on Ratio's ult is actually tougher in this team. Also, this team is kind of like a concept run. It's not exactly optimized. I just really wanted to use Sparkle and make her go three times. So we missed the crit, unfortunately, but it shouldn't matter because as long as we trigger the follow-up, we're good. But if we did crit, then we wouldn't even need to rely on the follow-up percentage. About one sliver of health there, but luckily the follow-up does take it out, which is beautiful. Now, immediately, Ratio is going to ult, so then uh, Tingyun can then action advance everybody, mainly herself, because you don't want to action advance on her turn, obviously. And because we applied Benediction, you know, two turns ago, we can basic and get one of those follow-ups from his ult out of the way. Triggered again. Thank you. So we're at 1% here. Now, we obviously could just kill it with Tingyun, which might have actually been the proper play. 
However, I wanted to prioritize the damage on the second side, and I want to attack with Tingyun with the ult from Ratio, uh, so i rather get one ult trigger than kill with this. So the skill from Ratio is just going to be the one to take it out. Now 80%, can we hit it? No. So we didn't hit the 80% there. I'm actually glad we didn't hit all of them because it is pretty unlikely to hit all of our 60 and 80%. Now, thanks to the Dance 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 boost, we're actually going to get a couple actions from our characters now before it decides to imprison. But if it did imprison, then thanks to the comments, people told me this, right, which it really helps. The first two characters who ult are the ones that get taken from the meme. See, so that's why we didn't want to apply the Benediction the last turn, so that way we could trigger one follow-up here. So at the end, he has 93% crit rate, which is high enough that I shouldn't miss. And can we trigger this one? Yes, we can. Okay, so we triggered about, I think, maybe 4 out of 5 or 3 out of 4? I think 4 out of 5. And one final chalk to finish it. Beautiful. If we optimize our damage a little bit there, we wouldn't even have to actually rely on the 60% chance for that to hit. But that is Dr. Ratio with mainly the three-turn sparkle tech, which is hard to build, but if you can do it, you know, uh, remember, double dance, dance, dance on both Tingyun and Sparkle. Pair that with Ron May for the speed boost and maybe some Messenger 4P sets, and it should be doable. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please uh, like, comment, and uh, subscribe. I appreciate it. Adios.